Louise Minchin has been praised for her bravery in a new ITV documentary, The Truth About Stalking, that aired tonight, exploring the effects of stalking. Hosting the program with her daughter Mia, the issue was incredibly close to the 53-year-old journalist's heart because last year, both women were terrorized by a man who had even been outside their front door. Obsessed Carl Davis bombarded 19-year-old Mia and her mother with a stream of violent violent threats on Instagram, leaving them shaking and in floods of tears. The former paratrooper was jailed for two years and eight months for stalking, but the incident would leave Louise and Mia forever mentally scarred. In the eye-opening documentary, Louise spoke to a convicted stalker who used the alias Tom, discussing how he had been offered therapy after his conviction. He harassed his ex-partner in a campaign of terror, sitting outside her house for hours. Louise admitted it was the most difficult conversation, she'd ever had. Tom and I are at completely opposite ends of this story about stalking, she explained. The thing we know about stalking is reoffending rates are high, and if you can stop it through therapy, that's got to be a route. You've got to be open to it, haven't you? Speaking about the terrifying experience she suffered, Mia explained, I logged into Mum's Instagram account and suddenly loads of messages started coming. They were all kind of just really offensive, calling us not very nice names and then they got much more graphic. It was the kind of actions that he wanted to do against me and Mum, which got really personal and they weren't nice to read at all. Over three days in July 2020, Davis told Louise that he knew where she lived and what cars were on her drive. Describing the ordeal for the first time, Mia told ITV Tonight, I was terrified, all kind of shaking. I think my heart was beating really fast. I didn't sleep all night. The entirety of the next day, I was in floods of tears. The ordeal has changed her life. She said, when I'm walking, I'm very conscious of who is behind me, especially not to have my headphones in if it's dark and there's no one else around. Davis, of Flint, North Wales, initially denied two counts of stalking meaning Louise and her daughter would have to go through the added ordeal of a trial. But he switched his plea to guilty before a jury was sworn in at Mold Crown Court. The ex-soldier was said to be suffering from PTSD following service in Afghanistan. Louise told ITV Tonight, It was very clear from the messages that this person knew exactly where we lived and had stood outside our front door. To say I was frightened, just doesn't really touch the surface. You are kind of on this high state of alert all the time. You don't know who they are. So, you don't know that that person standing next to you isn't them, 